everyone, this is Loyani Groner and today I'm going to show you how to set up the source code from the book Mastering XJS. The application that is developed throughout the book looks like this. This is the final um, this is the final result that we get once we go through all the book. So we have a few different screens here that we can implement uh, they are implemented throughout the book. So how do we get the source code and have it up and running just like I have here? Well, the first step is to get the source code. You can get from the fact website, from the books, uh, from the book page, or you can go to GitHub. GitHub.com slash Loyani slash MasterNexoJS and download it from here. You can use Git itself to clone or fork the repository or you just can click on download zip and you will get a zip file with all the source code. Once you download the zip file, you will have to unzip it into a web server. If you watched my video on how to set up EXJS on your computer, we have uh, downloaded and installed XAMPP, which is a web server that is available for Linux, Windows and Mac OS. With that web server, we have installed the Apache server that is required because we are using PHP source code here as a backend and also comes with MySQL already installed that we also use as a database for the book. If you did not watch the video, that's okay. I'll link it in the I'll leave the link in the description box below. So once we get the source code from GitHub with a zip file or clone or fork, you will want to uh, place it inside the your web server. In in case of XAMPP, is the hdocs folder, and I have it here, the Mastering XJS. And this is what you get, which is exactly what we have here in the GitHub repository. Um, before we try to execute the application, there are a couple of steps that we have to execute. The first one is to set up the Sakila database. If you have the um, If you have installed XAMPP, you already have the MySQL database. You can use the MySQL administrator that comes with it, but I personally don't like to use that. And I recommend to use the MySQL Workbench if you don't have, um, if you don't have installed it. Or if you don't have MySQL installed, also download, uh, please also download the MySQL Workbench because it is going to install everything that you need. So we can go to the mysql.com website and click on downloads. We will search for the community edition, which is free, and click on it and the mysql workbench. And here you can select the installer according to the operating system that you are using. So in case if you are using Microsoft Windows, uh, you can select here the um, the appropriate version for your uh, for your Windows. Once you have installed the MySQL Workbench, it's really simple. It's just uh, next, next, and finish. It, it's simple and default wizard you can open it. If this is the first time that you are using MySQL, you will not see this local host here. So what you have to do is to create a MySQL connection. You can come here, give it a name. Uh, in my case, I just name it localhost. And in case you, when you install MySQL, in case you have set a password, you can enter the password here. As I have installed the MySQL through the XAMPP, I don't have any password, so I just have a username, which is root. Well, once the, the connection has been created, we can double click on it and uh, you will see some sample schemas here. But the one that we need, that we are looking for, it, is the Sakila one, it does not come by default. So we have to install it. And how do we do that? If you downloaded the source code, if you will notice that inside the source code, there is the DB scripts folder. And here, 
They are all the SQL scripts that we need to run prior trying to execute the application. The first one is a simple text file with uh, three instructions. The first one, install the Sakila database. Second, run all these other scripts. And third, just configure your database connection. We're going to do that step by step. So first, if you don't have, uh, download the Sakila database. I have included here as well. So let me open the DB scripts here. I have included here as well. So you can uh, simply unzip it and you will see these two files, which is the Sakila data SQL and the Sakila schema SQL. From your workbench, you can open the You can open the schema first. So you open and then you click here to run it in this um, flash icon. So you're going to execute everything. After it is completed, you're going to open the second one, which is the Sakila data. Okay, and execute it. Once both are executed, we're going to go back here to the DB scripts folder and we're going to execute all the other ones. It's starting with the number two user group. So you open and then you execute it. And then you open number three, execute it. You open number four, execute it. And then you open number five and execute it. And there is a number six as well. So you open it and then you execute. With that, we have you have all the tables and all the data that is required to run the application for the first time. So we have all these Sakila tables, and we also have the tables that we created throughout the book, such as the user, the permissions, the menu, the groups. So you have everything there, and also the tables are already populated. In case of the users, you'll have the single line because there is only one user that is ready for, for testing. The next step and last step, so we have completed step one and step two. Now we need to, um, to configure step three, which is we're going to open the PHP folder, the DB folder and the DB PHP. And uh, this is the information that the application needs to connect to the MySQL database. So here we have the server. This is the IP for localhost, the user, which is root. You can uh, change it to the user that you have created. And the password, if you have any, you can also enter here. If you have installed um, XM first that comes with MySQL already, uh, just leave it blank because it does not need any password and the name of the schema of the database that we are going to use in the application which is Sakila. Before we try for the first time the application make sure that you open the XM control panel and you have the Apache web server running and also the MySQL uh, database running. And then we can go back here to the to the browser and enter the local host. Usually XAMPP works with the port 80. So this is the same thing as having that. So we can we don't need to use that information. If your web server is using a different port, remember to use the port as well, such as 8080 or any other one. So we can use localhost slash mastering exjs, which is exactly the name of the folder that we are using here that is inside the hdocs. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and click enter. And here we have the splash screen, the login page and uh, the application itself. So we can come here and open each of the screens. We can um, add a new category. We can, uh, for example, add a new user as well. Uh, there is the films. Um, films is a little bit more complex uh, screen. So we can click on the edit and we can see all the other information about the, the film. And 
and also we have the reports we can change the report type and you can navigate uh, throughout the application you can also change the language uh, we have set up Spanish and Portuguese in the application and this is the application with the customized theme it is the result that we get at the end of the book I hope this video helps you to set up the application and I hope you enjoyed the book as well. Thanks for watching and I see you in my next video. Bye bye!